Here's another update on a tornado warning that continues for the northernmost part of central Chatham County and southern Jasper County until 3.45 p.m. Here you see a live look at the radar. We're going to pause it so we can zoom in. We do have, still have some indication of rotation on Doppler radar. Right about in here, it's not a super strong rotation. It's uh, not out of the question that a brief small tornado could touch down. That's why a tornado warning is in effect until 345. The most likely location for this now would be uh, generally crossing the Savannah River and likely heading more into the uh, marsh area uh, between uh, Chatham and Jasper County. Still a good idea from the downtown, especially the northern part of downtown right in here. Just uh, stay away from windows, be inside while it's raining hard, the wind's kind of blowing. There may be enough wind to maybe knock down a tree somewhere. Uh, we have not had any confirmation of any tornado warning. We have been hearing the sirens going off. Uh, those sirens went off as soon as the tornado warning was issued, and we understand they're continuing to go off in uh, some areas as well. So the warning continues until 3.45 p.m. Again, for the extreme northern tip of Chatham County, and also as we go into the southern part of Jasper County. Let's just zoom in out here a little bit and give you a better perspective here. Also, I want to put up the warning box again right from the downtown area here in Savannah on up into southern Jasper County, right in that circle. If there was going to be a touchdown, that's where it would uh, possibly occur, and it would likely be very brief and pretty small if it did happen. More likely, there might be uh, a funnel cloud up in the air as the rotation is uh, aloft enough and not terribly strong. And again, we are looking at a tornado warning in effect until 345. Without a tornado, though, we're still looking at some gusty winds as this heavy rain moves through. So there may be enough wind to perhaps knock on a tree somewhere. So whether or not there's actually a tornado, good idea just to stay inside, stay away from windows until everything has moved on by. I anticipate this warning to be expiring at 345 and possibly earlier uh, if we're fortunate. But right now, we are continuing with the warning, so just uh, if you're ahead of this, stay prepared, stay inside of the sturdy building, get away from windows. The main thing uh, that we're going to see here will continue to be heavy rain as well as some gusty winds. Let's take another look at our live radar and watch it here as it comes in from the west. And we see some orange, a few, a couple of little pockets of red in there. Notice we are not seeing any lightning. I've not tracked any lightning yet with this particular system. That means that the uh, cloud height is not very high. You do not get large tornadoes uh, from a system like this. If you were to get one, it would be very small and very short-lived if it actually touched the uh, ground. But nonetheless, there is a fair amount of shear in the atmosphere, so there is some rotation being detected by Doppler radar. Uh, so mainly as precaution, there is a tornado warning in effect. Uh, uh, right now, it looks like really that chance is out of Chatham County, heading more into the extreme southern part of Jasper County as they see some of the areas of yellow and orange continuing to work on off uh, toward the east. Let's take a look here at uh, one other aspect. I want to show you uh, shear. This is a good indicator of a loft that we're talking about, uh, some rotation. This area blue here coming in from the west, right along in here. In fact, I'll just redraw it again, right in there. You see that pocket of blue? That's where there, if there was a tornado, where it could possibly happen. All right, we're just now getting another uh, warning into the uh, Storm Tracker Weather Center here. And it is now in effect also heading up into Beaufort County into 415. So they're extending this warning further east, which is also going to include Hilton's Head. So if we take a look at this line here and extrapolate it out, right out towards the uh, northeast, that's where this is going to continue to go. So if there's going to be a touchdown, it's going to be probably near that white line you see there going from uh, west southwest to the east northeast heading from downtown Savannah out to Hilton Head. I do not think there's any more of a threat for any tornado touchdown in the Savannah area. I think that's now heading out into Jasper County. Uh, so let's go back to the radar here. We'll take a look at this again because we can track that pretty well with that shear. Well, let's zoom in on now into the southernmost part of Jasper County. We are still looking at the back end right in here where there's some uh, weak rotation. Again, we have not uh, found a confirmed tornado. I'm continuing to check and see if we do have any 
uh, confirmation. So I'm going to be doing that live here while I'm talking to you. Uh, still just detecting rotation. We have not uh, picked up on any actual uh, funnel clouds that have reached the ground, but the system is moving off to the east or just east north of due east at 35 miles per hour. And locations in the path do include Hilton Head, the Fusky Island, as well as the Forest Beach. Let's zoom back out here a little bit and we're going to uh, take a look at some cities that are in the path of the storm. Again, we're going to continue to track our tornado warning. That's in effect until 4.15 now for southern Jasper County as well as southeastern Beaufort County. It does include Hilton Head. System, the rain's going to pick up, the wind's going to pick up. Let's head back now to the radar. We can take a look at, closer look at where this is exactly is going right now. All right, again, we're looking at this cell right here pushing off to the east-northeast, so heading towards Hilton Head, uh, also Bluffton, right in the uh, at least the northern part of this heavy rain and uh, pretty strong gusty winds too as we continue to track this heading off to the east. Let's take another look here at another aspect. We're going to pause the radar and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line and then we're going to take it out. It's going 35 miles per hour, so we're going we're to show you basically some of the towns and the timing of it here. Hilton Head, 4 o'clock, Bluffton uh, coming through uh, here in about uh, 10 minutes. Also looking at Longwood, 418. So all these cities you see there, Defusky Landing, uh, Hilton Head, right in the path of the storm. So uh, best bet is just to stay inside as the heavy rain and gusty winds continue to push on off to the east. Let's look again at the shear. This has been the best thing I've seen so far as a track where the uh, if there was going to be a touchdown, it would be along where the highest shear was. You see some of the blues coming in from the west. So we're going to move the radar around here and take a closer look at this. And I'm actually going to pause it. And we're going to draw a line right through here. That's where the highest shear is indicated. And that's where, if you're going to get a touchdown, and this is live right in here. So as we go in, mostly marshland there south of Bluffton, but as we extrapolate it out further east, if that rotation continues, it could move right across uh, Hilton Head Island. So uh, Hilton Head uh, probably really need to be on guard for uh, if you're going to get a, a brief, weak tornado, you could get one coming up here within about 20 minutes as that rotation continues to work on to the east. Let's take another look at it in motion here. Watch that area of darker, that lighter blue right in here, that's where the stronger shear is. Now this other blue out in here is where you also could see some pretty strong wind gusts too that might even be capable of knocking down a tree. Right in the middle though, the middle line is where if there was going to be an actual tornado, which we do not have any confirmation of at this time, where it could occur. And again, if you just extrapolate it out, the east to the north of due east, that continues to head over towards Hilton Head. Uh, coming up here in the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So we're going to stay on with you right now. I don't think we still hear the sirens going uh, in, in Chatham County. We still have the warning. Actually, the warning has been officially dropped for Chatham County. So we can definitely say that the warning is over for Chatham County, Savannah. Everybody watching here from downtown Savannah, you don't have to worry about any chance whatsoever that a tornado is going to touch down in north central Chatham County. Any chance now that it could occur, the far eastern tip of Jasper County and far southern Beaufort County, south of Bluffton, and coming in, heading toward Hilton Head Island, right where you see that middle line is where there could be possibly a brief tornado touchdown, but we have not had any actual confirmation at all that we've had any touchdowns occurring with this. But uh, we have had some strong gusty winds, and I, I wouldn't surprise me at all if we've had a tree or two knocked down in a couple of spots. So that's certainly nothing to be taken lightly. So whether there's ever any uh, report of an actual tornado, you should just remain inside until this band of heavy rain pushes through, which it is going through fairly fast. Let's take another look at the radar here. You see the rain picking up, coming in from the, from the west. Notice that that heavy rain doesn't necessarily correlate exactly where some of that shear I was showing you is going. In fact, we'll put the rain in with this so we can take a look at it at the same time. Just want to show you here, uh, we've got this the heavy rain all the way, let me put a different line here. We've got the uh, 
heavy rain all the way through there. And then we have the uh, greatest wind shear coming right through here and generally heading toward Hilton Head Island. And that's where the tornado warning is in effect for until 415. Let's check out the latest uh, storm tracks or storm reports. And uh, we still don't have any uh, actual confirmations of any uh, tornado warning or uh, tornado touchdowns. But the uh, tornado warning remains in effect until 415. So let's get back to the radar here. And let's just take a look first here at where some of this heavy rain is falling. And again, it's basically now northeast of Chatham County. So if you're in the Savannah area, you can breathe easy. There's no chance whatsoever that a tornado is going to touch down. And in fact, uh, behind this, there's really no other threat coming. So once this particular cell gets off the coast, we're really looking pretty good. Uh, let me just give you a wider perspective of what's happening. We have some uh, other activity to the south, and that is also pushing off the coast. So once this right here, this is all going to be moving off the coast pretty soon. Everything behind it is just rain. There's no chance of a tornado coming down out of that. We are on a tornado to watch until 6. Basically, the watch will uh, likely be expired before that. But the main thing we're obviously we're watching is the current tornado warning that is in effect for the uh, parts of Jasper and Beaufort County. The yellow there, all under the watch. Now let's zoom back into where we have our warning. And there you see the red box, and that's where we have our tornado warning in effect until 4.15. Now we'll put up a box here and show you more information about uh, what's going on with that. Basically, again, 4.15, and we're going to see that it's in effect there. It includes Hilton Head Island. Now that's the main area where it's actually going to be the, the center of the storm is going to be crossing here in the next 10 minutes. So if you're on Hilton Head, just stay inside a sturdy building, get away from windows. Um, did not ex the the uh, height of the storm is not very high. We have not picked up any lightning at all with this particular thunderstorm as it has pushed toward the east. But you see a band of red there, and at least there's going to be some gusty winds there coming onto Hilton Head very soon, probably right ahead of that area of red you see. So just stay inside a sturdy building or get inside a sturdy building. Wind's going to pick up, rain's going to come down hard for a bit, and it's going to go on by. and. Um, not likely that you're going to get a tornado to touch down, but there is some shear loft. There is some rotation indicated by Doppler radar, so it's, it certainly is not impossible that a brief touchdown of some sort could occur as this cell continues to work east onto Hilton Head Island. So we are going to continue to watch this very closely. Again, we've got tornado warning in effect uh, for extreme southern Beaufort County. It's now moving, pretty much starting to move out of the eastern part of Jasper County. So extreme southern Beaufort County. Hilton Head Island until 415. And if we have any new information at all, of course, we will come right back on and let you know.